Hello and welcome to Pseudocode. In this video, we are going to talk about adapter design pattern. It's a structural design pattern and it's fairly simple to understand. We will start with the introduction to the pattern followed by concepts and class diagram. And as usual, we'll look at an analogy followed by code walkthrough and then summarize the video. This is a fairly smaller one because adapter pattern is not that difficult to understand. So let's get started. One of the examples of adapter pattern is stream classes in Java. If you have not used stream classes in Java, I would suggest you to please try them out and also try to understand the implementation on how adaptive pattern is utilized there. Let's talk about the concept of adaptive design pattern. A lot of people try to understand adaptive design pattern using the example of chargers when people travel across different countries and they have to utilize different adapters because the electrical settings are not same across different countries. I personally do not like that example because it is a hardware example and for me it is difficult to wrap my head around using the example of that hardware pattern to understand a software adapter design pattern. So I have come up with a different analogy in order to explain the same to you. Before we jump onto that analogy, let's try to understand the concept. The concept is that you have to connect two interfaces which are not compatible with each other. And in order to do so, you write an adapter or you write a wrapper so that both those interfaces can understand each other. Now, why do you need to do so? If those interfaces are not compatible, you can go and change one of those interfaces. But we cannot do that because this situation arises usually in the cases when a legacy code has to be integrated with a new code or an another set of programs which are incompatible with the legacy code. So in the situation when the legacy code cannot be modified, but you still have to integrate it, we come up with adapter design pattern in order to solve for the same. Also, this pattern is a client focused pattern because you do not want your client to change or to be modified because you want to interact with the legacy code. Let's try to understand the same with a class diagram. Let's say you have a client class which has some method do operation. Also, you have a legacy code which returns the results for this do operation, but the way this result is returned is not compatible or understandable for the client class. In that case, you introduce an interface adapter which converts the output from this function so that the client can understand that. Now for client, it becomes fairly simple to understand what this interface is doing, but at the same time, we are not changing anything in the legacy code. So this is the concept of adapter design pattern. If you have ever worked in Java and you have ever written this line arrays.aslist to convert an array to a list, that means you have used adapter pattern. I would suggest you to try and look at the definition of these functions or the collections in Java and try to see how they have implemented the adapter pattern. Before we move on to the code walkthrough, let's try to understand the adapter pattern using an analogy in real world. In real world, when we apply for medical insurance, there are various companies which provide health and medical insurance to us. Every company has a different format of papers of, or medical reports that you have to submit if you're trying to make a claim. Now, every hospital has their own format of prescriptions, medical records, etc. Now, different insurance companies are going to accept that whole information about the medical records of a patient but every insurance company will have a different format every hospital actually has an insurance office in the hospital itself to give you these documents what they do is they take the papers in their format but they modify those papers they take the information from those papers and then modify those papers in the format as per your insurance company if your insurance company is HDFC or MetLife or something else, they will modify the papers according to your format and give them back to you so that you can take those papers to your respective companies and claim the insurance. This right here is an example of adapter. Since different companies have different formats and hospital only has one format, this insurance office in the hospital adapts to the format of different companies and then provide the documentation so that you can apply for a claim. I like this example more than the example of adapter. If you think that this is not that intuitive, let me know in comments, please. Let's move on to the code walkthrough where we will implement our own adapter. Let's do a quick code walkthrough of adapter design pattern. It's a very simple demo which has a student client. This student client class has a function get student list and it just prints out that student list. Now let's see what's going on inside this function. There is a list of students, which is of type student interface, which exposes these three functions. There is a class college student, which actually implements this student interface and 
implements all these functions and has these three variables. Now, there is another class, school student, which does not implement the student interface. It has the same three variables, but they are not compatible as per the student interface over here. If you try to initialize this school student class and we have an instance here, if you try to add that instance here, it returns an error because it is not of the type student. However, if you try to add college student here, we can do that successfully. Now, this is the case where we need to use an adapter. So we're going to create this adapter here so that the instance of type school student gets added to the student list. In order to do that, we are going to create an instant instance of school student here. And this constructor is going to accept a parameter of same type. Now in these functions over here, we are just going to return the school student and the function from the interface. Return this dot school student dot get last name instead of surname. And similarly, return this dot school student dot get email address instead of email. So we are utilizing this instance here, assigning it to the instance instance of school student adapter and then returning the variables from these functions. If we come back to our client class, all we have to do here, instead of passing school student type, we are going to pass school student adapter and pass the school student inside that adapter, which has changed the properties and have adapted to this particular type, which is satisfied by student. And we just return student list from here. If we go back to the demo and we try to print out our student list, It gives us college student and school student, but this code runs without any failure because we have designed this adapter which adapts to two different types of classes. So that was a brief introduction to adapter design pattern. I hope the analogy and the code has helped you. For summary, there is not much to adapter design pattern. There are not many cons for this pattern. It is fairly easy to implement. It is very simple and plain to understand. And please mind that you can write multiple adapters in your code whenever you face such situations where the interfaces are incompatible. If you can think of any other example or analogy from real world for this pattern, please don't forget to share it in comments with other learners. I hope this video was useful for you. Don't forget to add your questions in the comments. I will try to answer them as much as I can. Till then, take care. See you in the next video.